Some words from this morning's Gospel from St Luke chapter 1. And Elizabeth filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me, that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leapt for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfilment of what was spoken to, to her by the Lord. This is, of course, the meeting with, between Elizabeth, the mother of John the Baptist, and Mary. And it strikes me that Mary has a very important place within the whole salvation history of the uh, story. Mary has been viewed with a little bit of suspicion by um, non-Catholics because wrongly people were under the impression that Mary was the one who was between us and Jesus. Mary is not a gap. Mary is a, a channel by which we can approach Jesus um, and to understand more clearly the full nature of his, of his divinity. It was Mary who stood at the foot of the grave, uh, the foot of the cross rather, um, and watched her son die. It was Mary who had marvelled at all the things that he had said and done in a quiet and a very, very loving way. And that brings us to the, the, to the prayer, one of the most famous Catholic prayers, or a, a, used, a prayer used by Anglicans um, as well, the Hail Mary. Now let me remind you, and for those of you who benefit from a, a good Catholic education, will probably know this off by heart. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. I think there's a certain amount of beauty in that prayer, and I would commend it to you. And so we give thanks for Mary and what she did, who she was, and how she was the bearer of Jesus Christ, whose incarnation we celebrate on Friday, on Christmas Day. Heavenly Father, who chose the Blessed Virgin Mary to be the mother of the pr promised Saviour, fill us, your servants, with your grace, that in all things we may embrace your holy will, and with her rejoice in your salvation, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.